My name is Steve Place. I'm the horticulturalist too at the Candida building and I work for Landscape Services. So when you're putting in your landscape, the most important consideration is your location. Are you getting full sun, partial sun, or are you in full shade? Once you've got your location selected, you pick from a palette of plants that are meant to be in that location. For instance, behind me, we have big leaf magnolias, which like shade. So they are ideally suited for this location. When selecting plants, it's extremely important to select native plants because native plants have evolved with this location. So you want to be thinking about how you're going to support the native wildlife and especially birds. All of these things are connected and we really want to be thinking about that when we're selecting our plants. When using fertilizer, you want to be careful. Uh, first of all, our native plants don't require a whole lot of fertilizer and also if we're maintaining our beds the correct way, the natural cycle should provide them almost everything they need. When you're planting outdoor flower pots, first of all, you want to make sure you have good drainage. You want to make sure that weep hole is open and uh, able to move the water through the plant. You want to have a thin layer of gravel or some kind of material that will hold the soil but allow the water to filter through. And then you want to use a, a potting soil that will allow the water to continue to move through the pot uh, because you don't want the pot holding water. Here in the south we have a variety of pests. One of the things you want to do is correctly identify your pest, whether they're aphids or some other pest, and you want to deal with it in the least toxic way possible first. So if it's uh, roaming through your plants and picking pests off your plants, or sometimes a really strong stream of water is enough to wash those pests uh, free of your plant. You want to avoid strong chemical solutions to pest management. And you also want to avoid things like mosquito sprays because mosquito sprays are indiscriminate. They'll kill your mosquitoes, but they may, may well also kill the native pollinators. Think about the butterflies, the moths, those kinds of things.